Hello, welcome to Studio Ra, and I am Amuka Kuparadze, anchor of the program, and I'm going to lead the discussion about the conflicts in Georgia, to be more specific uh, about the transformation of the conflict and uh, steps uh, that uh, are taken in our country together with our public uh, and with our colleague and with uh, uh, presidents and uh, associations living on the other side of the conflict line. Uh, I mean, uh, when our public representatives, uh, with the help of international funds, uh, meet uh, those people, conduct different projects, and uh, that way try to build uh, trust uh, and alienation. Uh, specifically, this program is uh, supported with uh, Coburn, joint project of UN and uh, European Union, uh, meaning uh, trust uh, building and uh, early prevention mechanism. So here we have interesting people in the studio. Uh, carrying out these interesting projects. Naira Bepieva, a Tbilisi State University professor, philology PhD, and uh, her daughter, Nina Kopiashvili, who represents uh, Tbilisi State University professor, uh, philology PhD, uh, Zora Bendianishvili, who represents coalition for refugees' rights, and Sandra Guindadze, a scriptwriter and a very interesting personality. Uh, so, Zurab, um, we have uh, uh, just heard that uh, you have just returned from Istanbul from uh, another meeting with Ossetian colleagues. Uh, uh, this is a project uh, about uh, comics and uh, play the why comics and uh, with whom you are conducting this project. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, and uh, why comics? Uh, because comic books, I mean, because this is more or less uh, uh, just a new trend uh, in Georgian animation art, but, uh, but I think that... Uh, well, it started, uh, well, early 20th century, including Georgia. And, uh, well, in a modern classic form, uh, we got it from the USA. And uh, I think uh, uh, recognizability is very high with the adolescents and, uh, and, uh, and the teenagers. And we used to use uh, just, we decided to use this uh, efficient uh, a way just of communication, and we took uh, topics uh, that are around uh, in our reality, and uh, especially uh, for those people who come across this kind of uh, reality uh, on the other side of the conflict in Srinivala region. And uh, there are some controversies uh, uh, in uh, these topics, and then uh, they are analyzed, uh, friendship and things, uh, different things are analyzed. Uh, so this process caused a lot of interest with Ossetian partners, and uh, most importantly, uh, I mean, teenagers got involved. Uh, now I will uh, show, we will show the video which our colleagues uh, prepared in Istanbul. Conflict line divide the Georgians and Oisans. We are united with Comics for a Few Days project. Uh, Comics for Peace and Education is carried out uh, Coalition for Refugee Rights, Georgian NGO. For six months, uh, the project is targeted uh, at the creation of educational comics with participation of Georgians and associations uh, six to nine. Um, there was first meeting in Istanbul, so workshops were conducted uh, uh, where methodology was formed uh, and uh, we talked about human rights uh, uh, and about those uh, values that uh, carry just a fundamental uh, just uh, meaning. Uh, the young generation is very fond of uh, animation and comics. Uh, 
and it's uh, very important. And the uh, good thing is that uh, it's also just educational, uh, I mean, uh, through young people, and uh, I mean, uh, those young people will be able to disseminate the knowledge. Uh, opportunity to get involved in the project, I uh, had, uh, well, different people of different age and uh, uh, social class, and uh, the atmosphere was very friendly. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I decided to participate because it's a uh, good opportunity to improve my just uh, foreign language skills. We need it just uh, we need to communication. We need to develop uh, along with uh, communications. The main just uh, uh, target is to build the trust and uh, maintain relationships with Georgians and those Asian projects is different because there is no just previously just to put a peace slogan just let's uh, live in peace this is based on art and uh, from art to peace and not uh, the opposite way this should uh, work um, and uh, of course it will have its own uh, effect uh, for young people, it's easier to establish communication. Uh, for grown-ups, uh, it's hard to be exposed to each other. I understand when two young people, Georgian and Ossetian, communicate. Tomorrow, they will have their own opinions about each other. The organization Coalitions for Refugees' Rights uh, uh, through participation of Georgian associations, has a long year experience of uh, carrying out projects. Uh, uh, this uh, project is uh, supported with the Coburn Joint Initiative of uh, EU and uh, United Nations. Conducting the project with Media Innovation, Sandra represents this organization. It is a very uh, interesting uh, group of uh, young people. And uh, I mean, uh, in terms of education, uh, let's consider them as pioneers in Georgia. And I think that uh, we have uh, got a very interesting outcome. <laughs> Uh, Sandro, this is a novel with reflection and with text, right? So I think uh, this is something really new for our environment. Uh, and uh, we just know comics uh, well uh, as uh, something like action films. Uh, and uh, so how is it developing in Georgia? And what did you share with those Asian friends? Uh, uh, for me, it was quite surprising uh, uh, when we learned uh, comics as a media, and uh, it uh, happened that we were surprised that, uh, uh, for example, uh, Devil's Whip was something like an animation edition uh, about 100 years ago in Georgia. Uh, so, and uh, they talked. Uh, with readers through caricatures and through small comics. Uh, I mean, uh, they talked about uh, Russian uh, threats. Uh, they just uh, depicted different caricatures. Uh, and they talked about Georgia just, uh, uh, I mean, uh, having a way through just Europe and things like that. Uh, for example, now one of my friends is going to publish the collection of caricatures. Well, it's a treasure for us. Uh, and uh, in trend, uh, there were American editions, and we were just in avant-garde, we may say. But then the uh, Soviet Union was created, and of course this art was uh, lost, uh, because uh, comics in the USSR was considered as bourgeois. Uh, art and uh, comics is uh, something like uh, well unification of uh, text and uh, pictures uh, that uh, serves a function of uh, rendering uh, telling something we are very happy that comics uh, now the industry is developing and uh, there are some uh, painters writers who try to adapt to Georgian just uh, literature reality uh, for example our just poems uh, a tiger and a warrior 
and things like that. Uh, it's very good and uh, most importantly different uh, classic uh, stories uh, are translated into Georgian and uh, published. And most importantly uh, there are there is some superstition that comics are something uh, designed for children. Uh, but uh, in reality, well, comics is a full-fledged media uh, that can raise any questions that any other media can raise. So, and uh, how did you uh, hold out that training or workshop with the fashion colleagues? Um, well, to be frank with you, initially I was sort of uh, scared. Uh, um, I, I was worried. Uh, well, actually, just uh, earlier I had attended a lot of uh, meetings with uh, Station Georgia, but, and as if uh, initially there is some kind of reconciliation uh, uh, spirit, but then uh, just uh, both sides end up in competition, actually competing with each other, who has lost more friends and relatives. So we say that we want to leave our past behind, but uh, uh, well, but but at the last moment, this uh, unpleasant past always just surfaces, and and uh, uh, we just uh, thought uh, uh, that uh, we should uh, have uh, put some. Um, we had to put some uh, spirit of uh, leaving our past uh, behind, and and where our Georgian and Association colleagues uh, ready for that? Well, it's a very creative process. I'm working on the project. For example, people are together, sharing some ideas, and uh, and it's uh, well. I, I mean, workshop atmosphere unites the people around. Uh, uh, common goals, and it's very good from my point of view. Well, I'd like to say that uh, we created focus uh, groups, uh, and uh, they are representatives of be just uh, beneficiaries, uh, and uh, so and. Uh, and uh, we just decided to just uh, get young people involved, hear their opinions. In Zerovani, Gori, and Tbilisi, we created three groups, uh, and uh, their involvement was very high. And uh, we had to meet uh, three times with each group. Uh, and. Uh, uh, Tbilisi group uh, created uh, one part of comics is uh, on their own, and the association side had uh, very high interest uh, because uh, um, there happened to be a lot of people loving uh, comics. Uh, I mean, painters and other people, and uh, those people also uh, expressed uh, their wish. I mean, to do something uh, and. Uh, so these uh, teenagers, uh, can I add something? Well, not just children, but uh, one Alsatian guy was over 50, and he admitted that in 80s uh, uh, he exchanged uh, Led Zeppelin uh, long playing long playing a long player for a Marvel Comics. Uh, he admitted that. Yeah, he happened to be a very progressive guy. Yes, we will get back to, to our project. Um, let me offer another block of our uh, program. And uh, uh, let me remind our viewers that uh, we have uh, Ossetian and Abkhazian journalists, our colleagues, uh, periodically provide us with uh, news. I mean, what's going on in Abkhazia? in South Asia and uh, uh, media monitoring that we are going to offer you a bit later. Now let's uh, see the news uh, which our colleagues from Sohomet Srinwala wanted us to highlight. So uh, what was happening during last month in South Asia and Abkhazia? April 2 to 6 in Abkhazia, first Sukhum International Cinema Festival was held, where 32 short films participated from CIS and uh, Western European countries and from Abkhazia. Top three included the movie Inner Narmania film uh, I Am Mahazi. 
Well, to begin with, the fact that this festival is being held in our country makes me very happy because nothing of this kind ever happened in Abkhazia, and I don't remember European students, European guests coming to us. And the Grand Prix went to Irina Volkova to for the film, uh, for her film, and only short films participated in the festival. However, organizers declare uh, that the uh, festival will be next year open for documentaries and feature films. Uh, 2018 in March, uh, because of a marble bug, uh, emergency situation was held in Abkhazia. 2017, the bug destroyed half of the harvest in Abkhazia. I mean, just main export sources of the Republic. And it, uh, first, uh, first time it was uh, noticed uh, in 2016, but number of uh, bag was not uh, dangerous uh, to agriculture sector. But then situation changed, and uh, marble bug got multiplied very fast uh, and uh, caused a lot of damage to uh, fruit and vegetable plants. And a large-scale operation to destroy started with the help of Russian delegation, Russian uh, inspection, um, uh, and uh, they urged uh, the population to collect manually in March and April while bug still sleeps. And the government paid for one kilogram, a thousand rubles, one kilogram of bugs. And experts say that manual collection is most efficient way to destroy the bug. Uh, just uh, until uh, now, the population has collected about three tons of uh, the box. Uh, experts say that chemical treatment uh, uh, will contribute to positive results in battling the bug. Uh, in Suhumi, on Muhajir's embankment, uh, another time, amateur uh, cycle uh, sports titan competition took place dedicated to victory days. The titan race team participated in many competitions in Russia and outside Russia. As for Abkhazia, well, this has been second time, and the Russians uh, and the local amateurs took participants took place uh, and participated. And so, home marathons in different uh, uh, distances, uh, triathlon and swimming, and also children's grounds were set up. Uh, uh, with uh, animators and also a filled kitchen. Uh, today, South Asia is celebrating 33rd anniversary of uh, victory in uh, World War II. This is a holy holiday for those participating, for their descendants. In Srinivala Theatrical uh, Square, a uh, military parade dedicated to victory was held, and majority of the South Asian population and governmental uh, members came here. 22,000 Asians battled in the war, and 18,000 didn't return. And also participated the Defense Ministry and Fourth Guard members, women soldiers, and cadets. Uh, another uh, stage of cleaning, clearing up uh, mines is happening in South Asia with the help of uh, Russian uh, experts earlier. They had uh, just cleared about uh, 80 hectares. Now they are planning to inspect uh, 20 hectares, and specialists uh, started to inspect and uh, clearing work. So, and for just miners, it's very dangerous. And initially, they used special robots and drones, and they just learned uh, the uh, territory. The agreement on cleaning up mines uh, uh, was uh, signed between South Ossetia and Russia presidents because after the war, big part of the territory of the Republic was not to learn. Many times we witnessed uh, casualties and accidents, I mean, when people exploded and burned. Uh, President Anatoly Bibilov visited the Leningrad reconstruction uh, works, uh, and uh, the main goal was to get acquainted with both population and its problems. Uh, all ministers and state departments were there, uh, and uh, they inspected all constructions uh, just being built. Uh, and uh, on some streets, uh, underground communications will be changed. Uh, as President said, uh, these streets will be fully repaired by the end of uh, December 20, 2018, but the initial date was uh, 2019 December. Bibilov also inspected new kindergarten. Works were not quality, made about C. 
sewage and uh, their four kindergarten hasn't started working yet. Now, just according to the Sanometer Baby Law, problem has been eradicated and the kindergarten will be opened uh, Children Defense Day June and June 1st. And until Baby Law uh, addressed uh, Yalta International Law Festival, we're just uh, about uh, 70 countries and a few hundred participants uh, are just attended and together. And he signed a memorandum with the Crimea Autonomous Republic Sergei Aksyonov on humanitarian and economic trade development. Uh, also, uh, educational, health, and uh, other just uh, communication. We are back at the studio, and uh, Naira, uh, uh, let me ask you a uh, uh, question. I know about uh, these books, and please tell us something about uh, these publications. So uh, we know that they are very popular, and uh, there is even demand. I mean, for future uh, publications uh, to meet the needs of our readers, and then tell us about your activities uh, currently. Uh, this is uh, lexicology, science, uh, development. We didn't start with that. We started with uh, just uh, dictionary, Georgian Asian, Georgian dictionary covering 50,000 words and uh, entries. It's not only just in the words. We have a lot of just phraseological, uh, just homonymic, uh, paronymic meanings of different words. Uh, uh, and, uh, of course, we included just uh, space and time elements. Uh, and, of course, we got a lot of practice, and we are continuing. Uh, this is a continuation of that book, but in a more extended way, because you know that uh, uh, it's progress that now we are multi-language uh, population. And, uh, and for us, uh, now international languages, of course, are very interesting. And uh, let me tell you that uh, um, uh, in creation of these books, uh, um, Oh, both George's and Anastasia's work, but Narty, just uh, history, Narty, just uh, legends. Uh, tell us something about that. It's very important for us that uh, Nart's uh, legends and this publication, I mean, uh, double language uh, edition, is uh, another just stage of our work. Uh, I mean, Nart's uh, legends for children uh, was introduced uh, with uh, just another edition of, I mean, eight. Uh, page, uh, 800 page eight uh, hundred page work both in Georgian and Dostation. It was academic edition of Nars Legends uh, in different versions in prosaic and in poetry uh, versions with their passports for texts. Uh, I mean, uh, where it was published first, who recorded uh, and together with its colleagues and comments. Uh, and the continuation of that fundamental work was Nars Legends for Children in adapted way, illustrated way in uh, Georgian and Ossetian languages, and target audience for us was, in this case, I mean, uh, uh, well, uh, children that start reading, uh, and all pages are colored uh, with illustrations, so not only philologues work, but philologists, but Georgian Ossetian uh, painters also worked, uh, and uh, we should note the involvement and interest of Georgian Ossetian authors. Uh, every page uh, has uh, some visualizations, and uh, sometimes it was very hard because um, in the legends, uh, we have just uh, some uh, heavenly creatures or so underwater world creatures. Uh, uh, we have some, we just uh, uh, underlined some uh, moments, and it was first edition. What means uh, I just adapted the legends? It's not for uh, children specifically. I mean, legends and myths, of course, are more interesting for children uh, because there are some enchanted worlds, uh, special worlds, and uh, it must be just conveyed in children language. I mean, with simplified sentences, short stories for children to perceive, to understand, and to memorize. And I would add something. I mean, uh, it caused so much interest in educational area uh, that 
I mean, uh, first a classical gymnasium actually was one of the organizers of the projects, and in more than three months, the children learned this text. The children painted this. Uh, here of the north uh, has a spe just uh, a special just uh, icon uh, world. I mean, this is just a seven volume work, and. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it, it was a challenge to bring it down to a theme book, and we selected those texts, uh, I mean, with uh, important uh, moral, ethical codes, how they behave just in the society, what values they have. And uh, uh, in terms of educational uh, fairy tales, they are really written in children's language, uh, easily accessible language. Uh, uh, and. Uh, I mean, we all Georgians and associates learned quite well, and that's our goal. I mean, just to implement, actually, to inspire trust since uh, childhood ages of uh, this code. And, uh, I mean, uh, well, uh, well, perhaps if we have some moral code, uh, if your neighbor just follows this code too, I think it's, uh, of course, a lot better. Earlier, the children actually learned that, uh, the better is for us. So next block of our a program is, I mean, uh, if uh, three sides of Georgian associations, I mean, how they highlight uh, the conflict in the media and uh, uh, to what extent uh, we can meet uh, hate speech there. So, uh, so let's ask Nina Gelashvili to just uh, inform us uh, with that media. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. With the help of our Sukhumi and Tsukhin Valley colleagues, we continued monitoring of Tsukhin Valley and Sukhumi monitor media. Uh, in Georgia media, we did not meet any case again uh, of uh, hate speech, uh, and again, Georgia media did not uh, pay attention to social problems uh, over the conflict line, both in Abkhazia and Asian uh, just media. The most important thing was new peace initiatives of Georgian government. Uh, and uh, uh, which uh, targets on the improvement of social and economic uh, condition of uh, population. And it covers three points. This is uh, conflict-affected population, uh, trade uh, development, and opportunity to get highly, get better education and access to those benefits that Georgia gets from cooperation with the European Union. It got feedback in Prezi, uh, Absne Press, uh, right, uh, that uh, Tbilisi peace initiatives are unacceptable, just allegedly Abkhazia and organizations are ready to forget uh, aggression, uh, genocide, and uh, aggression of uh, Georgia side. Georgian academic science and uh, culture representatives uh, roughly falsify the history of Abkhazia and South Asia. History isn't it pity that for 25 years after the war was over, not a single representative of Georgian intelligentsia publicly apologized uh, to Abkhazia for those atrocities that young Georgians uh, committed. The article says and uh, Abkhazia uh, says that Georgia is trying to show its favor, favorable uh, spirits towards Abkhazia in front of the world. It was criticized, and uh, he just uh, just asked uh, Georgia to admit uh, the genocide, and continues saying that Georgia continues anti-Ossetian activities, uh, and he said that innocent Ossetians lost their lives in tragedies like in Zari incident, and uh, said that Georgians are essential are not talking about peace I mean, behind the evil there is just behind in terms of uh, Church of uh, Georgia and the author speaks uh, that uh, Georgia's church uh, priests uh, work in the Leningori church I mean just uh, the clergyman that uh, blessed the Saakashvili army to attack Tsukhin Valley these people are just working uh, South Asia canonical eparchy and they doesn't uh, recognize eparchy and state borders also in form of publishes material where the author just uh, asks why oncology disease uh, just carriers increases and author thinks that 2008 uh, just uh, Georgia bombed uh, South Asia with urine containing bombs despite that uh, there is no proof for that. Uh, one more article was dedicated to bio lab activities in Georgia. Author says that uh, as long as the lab uh, started working, uh, well, uh, South Asia actually 
heavily faced uh, marble uh, bugs and uh, also Southern Georgia's terrorism took another form and uh, proof is uh, increasing disease rate uh, through with children and domestic cattle and uh, this disease is broke out after the bio lab uh, was commissioned in Georgia says the article that's all for today and with the help of our Sukhum and Abkhazian colleagues, uh, uh, we just monitored Abkhazian and uh, Alsatian media, and we will just come up with the results in the next program. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>In the modern world, not a crime should remain unpunished, especially those which brought results of hundreds of injured people. So a tragedy is without age, and this bloody crime was uh, 1992, May 20, and participants are still unpunished, uh, along with other participants uh, and uh, who acted uh, to destroy organizations. Uh, until the Bible declares that this is just an inhuman act, uh, only just uh, uh, just uh, those people, the only just low, mean people just uh, can uh, shoot innocent people. And now just almost 30 years have passed and our neighbors say how they love peace and how they want to friendly live with Ossetians, but they never extended their condolences to Ossetian people. But when something happens there and something happens in Georgia, this is declared as a, a tragedy of the world. Uh, South Ossetia has two neighbors, Russia Federation and Georgia. One more time, let me underline that we are ready to live in friendship with our South or neighbors, but to have political power, courage, and apologize uh, to your own people, to South Ossetian Republic, for those atrocities that your friends have committed, that your politicians did, and we will be ready to talk to you. We have just uh, uh, seen a seven minute uh, part of the seven minute uh, uh, video, and uh, it uh, reflects uh, well that Alsatian. Uh, uh, public is uh, very much injured by this tragedy. Of course, such uh, tragic scenes uh, in our conflict, uh, actually there were more than once, and on both sides the large of innocent people who died or shot or just, you know, simply lost uh, their property and things like that. Okay? And as long as the session public is traumatized uh, um, and stressed um, by this tragedy, when innocent and unarmed people just were shot. Uh, and uh, why we just would not assess that, why we would not investigate uh, these atrocities? Uh, uh, I mean, the associations expect us to do that. Why wouldn't we investigate this uh, tragedy? That's my question, and uh, I want to know your opinion. Of course, I understand that we also just uh, have suffered injuries, but I think that we bear responsibility that we are the country, and we should uh, show this example that for us uh, this is really just uh, a tragic thing. And uh, our journalists uh, just discovered that in our just the third systems in internet uh, there is nothing about Zara tragedy it means that there is a 
uh, generations that has uh, nothing that knows nothing about that. Uh, while this is a great pain for Russian, so Zurab, what do you think? Uh, well. Uh, let's explain uh, what we face in terms of Zari incident and tragedy. The video shows the tragedy, but uh, this was uh, when uh, we were going through military confrontation between Georgians and Ossetians. Uh, I mean, uh, both Ossetians and uh, Georgians uh, were moving byways, uh, uh, and uh, there were some uh, cover. Uh, uh, where uh, they just, uh, Georgians, uh, actually uh, shot the bus uh, where uh, mostly women, uh, the old and children were. And then uh, one of the versions uh, just uh, disseminated uh, that they thought that there were militaries. Uh, yes, maybe they thought it was militaries, but just shooting the bus uh, fully well, from my point of view, this is a, a very just hideous crime. I don't know. Why don't we talk about that? Well, I always mention that. I mean, for, long, for many years I keep saying that it's so hideous crime that uh, any government... Uh, I mean, however, just antagonist that, I mean, or nationalistic, uh, uh, should have investigated this uh, case. Why? Because uh, along with everything, I mean, just uh, despite all these conflicts, uh, I mean, uh, having uh, killed uh, a large number of innocent children, old and women, well, well, and a murderer who shot Giga Otkhazori and Papunashvili. This is a murderer, and I think it might, he must be a murderer for everybody, for local government and for us, too. And if you are able to investigate, for example, Zara tragedy, it will be a case, and it will give us a right, uh, I mean, just uh, to ask them just to assess, uh, I mean, that killing too, and we should uh, just jointly think about uh, and uh, see to that nothing ever of this kind happens in future. I mean, I agree that uh, not many people know about that, and uh, and uh, I think political administration in Georgia, I mean, uh, should uh, have this sensitivity level to look at this uh, tragedy and admit that uh, uh, this uh, crime actually was committed. And I think that uh, even uh, today, just it is possible to conduct some legal actions, uh, despite that uh, just uh, many years have passed. But it would be uh, right for our society. <laughs> Even after 25, 30 years, it wouldn't be too late to start that. Uh, so I think we should have talked about that because the Ossetian public waits for this assessment to be done. I think it's necessary. It's true. Yes, we need that. Yes, I agree. No, it should be said that uh, maybe in Tbilisi we don't know about this uh, uh, tragedy, but uh, but those uh, Georgians and uh, that population actually uh, similarly just took this problem to tragedy to their hearts. I know a lot of people, uh, some uh, relatives of uh, some people I knew just uh, were shot there and they moved to their hearts. But nothing is being done just at the governmental level. Yes, uh, this is a point. I mean, the government uh, should not have reacted to that initially, and it continues, and it uh, goes uh, from government to government. And uh, I don't know anyone uh, who uh, just knows something about this uh, tragedy. I mean, uh, and not was affected by this uh, tragedy. So it was a horrible story, let me remember. Uh, our just old friend uh, Nelly Tsovrebova, uh, who said actually at that time she conducted diary. She's a writer, and uh, and in the diary she reflects one episode of this uh, tragedy. Uh, so what happened and how she just uh, took uh, what emotions so, uh, just she was experiencing, and so this tragedy actually was. Uh, 
uh, actually covered just uh, the whole region. It was not just a tragedy of a few families only, and it was impossible. Uh, I mean, just for anyone to look indifferently at this tragedy. Thank you very much that you have raised uh, uh, this uh, in a very, very painful issue because, uh, well, I think uh, the relationships actually as a rule are developed on this basis. Uh, I am from Sukhumi. I was born and raised in Sukhumi. I just remember uh, 26 years ago, May 20, I was in one of the establishments and there uh, the uh, representatives of the establishment, uh, I mean, some uh, Russian media leaked an information, and they, uh, these two ladies were talking with each other that Georgians, so just, uh, they are just uh, beasts, what they have done to Ossetians. And, uh, uh, and uh, I was uh, very touched. I said that Georgians would not have done that, but I understand that, that those years just... Uh, those years, actually, we had a lack of information, but it was reality at that time. But I simply didn't want it to uh, just uh, believe. And But I took atrocity for atrocities, actually. And today, uh, when we live in the just uh, times of gadget and Internet, uh, I'm very happy that... Uh, a new generation cannot be as double-crossed uh, and uh, devoid of information. And uh, I had that question. Uh, it was uh, just after May 20. It was just a pre abkhazian conflict. Uh, we know just what happened. And then I had a question. So... I mean, uh, uh, when uh, while just uh, young people are very sensitive to lies and internet idea, I think it's necessary that those events should be should be investigated. Yes, I mean, war crimes must be investigated. Why? Because it's necessary for our just uh, current and future generations not to do it all over again, just even towards each other. Thank you very much. Well, I think it's not a war crime, because despite the conflict, uh, uh, we didn't have any just mass uh, military actions. And uh, uh, still, uh, still, it is, it is the picture of atrocities. Uh, and uh, even just uh, through that context, what was happening then, uh, this was not needed, actually. actually uh, yes, uh, they, these people actually were going to Vladikavkaz. Actually, they were fleeing uh, just to survive. Uh, yes, we had some local shoots, some local, but but uh, we didn't have any mass uh, military activities. So. Uh, that process did not exist. Uh, so, please, Andro. I just remembered uh, looking at this picture uh, in Reichstag in Berlin. They still keep uh, the writing of Soviet soldiers uh, who took uh, Berlin. By the way, there are a few just uh, Georgian uh, writings as well. And just think about this. Uh, these are soldiers who killed uh, the German, uh, raped the German women, but uh, Germans actually still uh, kept, left uh, these writings uh, for uh, historical memory for everybody just to remember just uh, what mistakes uh, Germany had uh, committed and the German people as well, including. And I think that uh, when uh, uh, government and citizens are able to recognize that historically something was done uh, wrongly, it is very important. And uh, secondly, this is uh, a very good sign of a uh, good indicator of maturity and establishment of the government. I mean, government, I mean, the state can admit that it uh, once made a mistake, and we, and uh, I mean, just, and the state does not want to make uh, that uh, mistake again. It's very hard to talk about that. I think it's understandable because I'm both a session Georgian, and there are a lot of people like me, and uh, I think we just, some people like me, just we took it especially to our hearts. And uh, because Georgians or Russians die, this is actually just bo both actually are very painful for us. And Zora, I cannot agree with you that there were no military activities. Uh, at any time, just any action at any time is inhuman and atrocities. Uh, despite it is uh, human, it is just peace times or war times. It doesn't matter. This is unacceptable. 
I mean, just it's uh, harder to say it harder actually to uh, tolerate when some tragic uh, like that happens uh, who cares it's uh, Thetians or Georgians in both cases this is actually an acceptable thing Thank you very much, my friends, for uh, coming here. It was very interesting uh, talking to you. I think for everybody, for our uh, viewers, your stories, I mean. And uh, after one month, we will meet again here at the studio and uh, talk about uh, Georgian Abkhazian, Georgianization uh, projects, other projects, and other topics. Thank you very much.